Welcome back to the No Bullshit Guide to Java Spring Boot, Part 16. Today we cover the Actuator. The Actuator allows you to monitor the health and status of your application during runtime. It's basically a control panel. You can see the endpoints defined, beans in the Spring container, metrics, and more. Add this to your POM file, and then do a Maven refresh. Then make your way over to your Properties file and paste this in. Every one of these comma-separated values is an endpoint, mappings, info, health, etc. I'm going to temporarily comment out this part of my security filter chain, and just add in authorize any requests.permit all, just so we can see it working. If you do not have Spring Security enabled, you can skip this step. In a production environment, you do want this to be authenticated to prevent unauthorized usage. In Postman, do a get request on localhost 8080 slash actuator slash mappings, and you can see all of the endpoints we have exposed. For example, slash products. You can also do slash actuator slash beans to see all of the beans in your Spring container. For example, here's our REST template. The goal of this video is to just let you know that the actuator exists so that you can Google it if you need to use it in the future. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.